All right, it's time to teach this little dude how to walk. So let's go ahead and close out of this window here. Okay, let's go into our tune class again. In your Solution Explorer, that'll be down under your Screen manage Manager uh, in the World folder. So we're going to go to our Move Sub that we created in 6B. And uh, let's see, we've already got move by direction. So first thing we're going to do is set the movement direction to equal the direction from our uh, direction parameter there. And then we're going to select case. Oops, on that direction. And we're going to say case one, if I could type, uh, is going to be down. Case two, would be left. Case three, would be right. Case four, would be down. Uh, sorry, up. Okay. So for each one of these, what we're what we're going to end up doing is uh, incrementing or decrementing the offset, and as soon as that offset hits the uh, tile size, uh, then we'll scroll the map value in that direction by one value or by one tile. So say we're moving toward the uh, top of our screen, we would take that y offset and subtract one from it each cycle. Uh, moving our guy by one pixel essentially and uh, then we want it to draw the next tile up as soon as it uh, hits the base value there so you'll kind of understand what, what I'm saying here as we get into it uh, so let's go into uh, case one we're gonna say tune offset X I'm sorry Y Try to get the right one here. Tune offset y minus equals uh, our movement speed. Okay, so whatever um, we're going to subtract our movement speed value from the offset, from the y offset, and move it that many uh, pixels as our key is held down. Uh, and then we're going to say if tune offset y is less than or equal to negative 32 then map y will be plus equals 1 so as we're moving downward we want to uh, increment our map value which controls the, the physical coordinates um, where our drawing cycle begins. If you remember back on our, uh, let's see, on the world screen here, as we're looping through, we're going to start drawing at our map X and map Y values here. So, all right, so as we move downward, we want to increment the uh, map Y, but we, w we don't want to do that with every single keystroke, otherwise it's going to continue drawing way off the screen um, and using up uh, resources as it does that. So we only want it to draw the, the map tiles that are coming into view from the edge of the screen. Um, and then as soon as our offset value hits either negative 32 our tile size or positive 32 um, at that point we want not only the map y or map x values whichever we're incrementing or decrementing um, to increase or decrease but we also want to reset our tune offset back to zero so we'll say tune offset y equals zero Okay, and that resets it uh, for another movement cycle. We want him to keep moving until he hits the end of his uh, movement cycle. Uh, that'll give us that classic RPG movement uh, feel. 
instead of just you know moving a few pixels and then waiting to to move a few more pixels um, you know at any given time which would be sort of a, a free movement system where you can move around in any direction at any time um, in this case we want it to be bound sort of like in uh, the old Final Fantasy or Dragon Warrior games uh, where you move once it moves an entire tile and then as uh, once it's moved that tile it's ready to accept an another input <coughs> Hope that all makes sense. Uh, next up, we are going to do our left movement. So much like the uh, first one. In fact, I'm just going to copy and paste here. Even though I usually get myself into trouble and uh, miss operators. Um, so in this case, we're going to be using offset x. And w since we're moving left, we want to increment our movement speed. And... Um, in this case, we want to do offset x when it's greater than or equal to a positive 32, not a negative. So we want to clear that out. It's just the opposite, uh, whether you're moving left or right. If you're moving toward the top or left edge of the screen, you're usually decrementing um, your offsets. So. Let's see here. This is going to be map x, and it's going to be minus equals 1. And uh, we're going to be checking, resetting our offset x to 0. Hopefully I got all that right. We'll know very quickly <laughs> when we start moving our character if he uh, does weird things or goes in the wrong direction or really fast. Uh, then we know that we made a mistake here. So now the right should be the exact opposite of the left. So let's say tune x minus equals movement speed. And then we want to keep above negative 32. So less than or equal to negative 32. Then map x plus equals 1. And again, reset to zero once it hits that. Um, okay, that's all right. And finally, let's go ahead and copy this guy. It's a little easier to go uh, positive to negative and, and actually changing all those x, y values. So here we want to change that to a positive. And we want to say, um, greater than or equal to 32, then we will increment or decrement our map value. And that should be good. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, what we want to do is set our last direction since um, we want, we don't want, you know, when we take our hand off the key, we don't want our character to go back to his uh, facing down direct direction automatically. So we kind of keep track of the last movement direction. We'll say if uh, move dir is greater than or equal to zero, then the last direction equals direction. Okay. 